2018 also brought the daily lives of children with facial deformities to the national stage through the movie Wonder. If you recognize Augie Pullman, the, the young boy on the right, and his friend Jack at the lunch table, when Jack said, have you ever had or thought about plastic surgery? Augie Pullman put his head down and it seemed like he had been beaten. But he looked up again and said, dude, it takes a lot of plastic surgery to look this good. That resilience led Augie to, to receive a special recognition at the end of his school year. And at that time, he made the comment, maybe the truth is, I'm really not so ordinary. Maybe if we knew what other people were thinking, we'd know that no one's ordinary, and we all deserve a standing ovation at least once in our lives. I wish to introduce my own Augie Pullman, Tiba Furhat Marlowe, who I came to know 11 years ago. This is Tiba at age five when she first came to see us after coming from a car bomb in Iraq that she'd has had as an infant and was adopted by the Marlows who are here tonight. She was shy, shy, reticent, and secluded. Her reconstructive journey started the process of facial reconstruction and was accompanied by reconstruction of confidence and spirit. Tiba has since developed into an ambassador for children with facial deformities, as you can see when she was 13 years old on the left, speaking at the Save a Smile, Save a Child fundraiser, and 16-year-olds on the right, continuing with that drive. Tiba now proudly displays her face to the world in an upcoming book publication, A Brave Face. As a special treat, I'd like you to have the opportunity to meet this brave face. Thank you. I will never be able to thank you enough, Dr. Gosain, for all you have done for my family and for myself. When I arrived in Cleveland at five years old, I was severely scarred from burns I sustained from an IED bombing in my country, Iraq, when I was 19 months old. I would see other girls with this beautiful, smooth skin and a head full of hair, and I wanted nothing more than to look just like them. So I started the reconstructive process, and slowly but surely, I noticed these subtle changes that over the years have given me so much confidence, and I, I thank you for that, Dr. Gosain, and any other doctor in this room, because without people like you, then people like me don't have confidence. The texture of my skin went from scarred to smooth. The scars no longer pulled around my mouth, and anyone that knows me knows I love to smile. So over time, especially now in my teenage years, no one seems to notice the remaining scars, at least not from my perspective. Nobody points them out or makes fun of me anymore, and I'm just like everyone else in this room now. And through that, I've definitely learned that nobody is perfect. And before I go, I just want to ask you one thing. Um, this is a $1 bill, but for this, let's just pretend it's 20 So raise your hand if you want a $20 bill. Yeah, me too. Raise your hand really high if you want a $20 bill. You guys, come on. You want, you want money. I want money. Okay, well, it has value because it's $20 and it's America and that's what we use. And it looks perfectly fine and untouched basically. So my question to you is, if I were to crumple it up like this and take away the visible perfection of it, raise your hand now if you would still want it, considering it still has value, right? Yeah, raise your hand. You still want the money. It's still $20 here in America still worth the same as it was before the circumstances that made it look like this now. So over the years, 
I've learned that this is now not any less of $20 and that I am not any less of a person. And I thank you for that. So thank you.